This is a chosen tea. Well, I didn't choose you. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guys. Hey guys, a little bit of an interesting review here. I've been actually listening to one of Bernard Cromwell's novels, Sharp's Tiger in particular. It's been a real joy to listen to it again. I've read several of the books, but the main reason why I'm enjoying it is because I was a very big fan of this series. Now, if any of you don't know about the character of Richard Sharp, this is kind of the thing that really put Sean Bean on the map. And it's a very strange sort of show because it's not got seasons. These were technically TV movies, but he made 14 of them. This was about a character that Bernard Cromwell wrote about called Richard Sharp, who is a soldier who rose up from the ranks. He was a normal sergeant and he rose into uh, lieutenancy. And this was a big unheard of thing because most of the time in the British Army, you bought or you earned your higher uh, captaincy through money, wealth, family, whatnot. Not through actual skill if you were not a anything better than a common serf. So that's pretty much the tribulation that Sharp goes through in this series as a man who isn't an officer, but he has to act like an officer. It's something that really did put Sean B on the mark. Uh, Bernard Cromwell actually liked Sean Bean's interpretation of the character so much that this movie was released in 1993 and the books had been out for about five years prior but after filming this episode this first TV movie Bernard Cromwell actually changed the aspects of the character to fit a little bit more with Sharp more so just physical um, because in the book Sharp had black hair whereas Sean Bean obviously has blonde hair I did love watching this series when I was a kid. My dad introduced this to me. At least to say, watching at least the first movie, Sharp's Rifles, the aspect ratio is a bit of a, a bit of a, a bit of a problem. Obviously, all of them are like this. They were all made back in the early 90s. They didn't exactly have a big budget, as you can see with watching this first movie. But what should be commended is that they actually did shoot in Portugal and they did shoot around areas where there was conflict, which from a location standpoint is an absolute bitch. So you gotta give them that. This is the movie that we see Sharp not only save Arthur Wellesley and become an officer, but he also gets introduced to the Chosen Men who don't like him at first. He and Harper get into a slugfest, the first meeting that they have but they slowly grow to respect him and admire him while Sharp learns how to be a proper man of action and officer to his own men. All the while he's working with the Spanish spies slash rebels to regain control of this Portugal area and, and he meets uh, his first wife. Which is, they don't get married in this episode, but he finds his first lover of the series. And I shouldn't have said that because it's not a very good road down there. Definitely it has aged in terms of what its budget was. The fight scenes are kind of silly. Um, the fact that this is supposed to be a show about, you know, ramrods and gunpowder. These guys are firing off shots like bang, 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 bang almost. Some of the fight scenes are not exactly the greatest. You can tell that some of the stuntmen didn't know how to use a horse because at one point all of these French guys come into a courtyard and they just start spinning in a circle and they're getting shot at so it's kind of funny as aside from that the character dialogue is still pretty witty between them and you can see that they were starting this like it had to start off this kind of poor for the show to get started because as further episodes go on the budget gets better the acting gets better the special effects and the fighting get better so it's a very rough start, admittedly. Um, for those of you who are ever interested in this, wanting to see what started Sean Bean's career off, just letting you know, the first episode's rough, but the second one, Sharp's Eagle, is one of the best ones still. So I hope you guys continue with me as I watch these. I'm gonna try and watch this series. I meant to watch it actually when I was recovering from my surgery, but I just felt really spurned to watch it. Now we'll see how fast I do this because, you know, we're all still waiting for me to finish Supernatural Season 1, so we'll see. In the end, my final rating for Sharps Rifles is a 3 out of 7. I, I have to give it that because it's just aged so poorly. 
it doesn't hold up to the other episodes and it's kind of a bit weak start our off but again that's literally budget constraints the next episode movie tv thing will be a lot better and i'd love to talk about the how the aesthetic of that just was possible in the first place anyways guys i hope you enjoyed this review if you did leave a link and if you're interested in more maybe subscribe otherwise i'll see you next time thanks for watching the video it's been a while but i'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie thanks to a successful kickstarter campaign but we are still asking for your support you know nits you can't get more money unless you offer questionable favors yeah guy Unless, of course, those favors involve the ladies, guy. By support, I mean getting the word out, guys. Oh, well, couldn't you find a better means than this guy? All he seems to talk about is supernatural. Or hold a coffee mug real awkward. Why didn't you ask a Kardashian or something? Yeah, guy. Get in with the ladies, guy. Hey, he's trying to help out. Like you've been trying with Kimmy Burton? I've seen Jabba the Hutt finish a marathon faster. Yeah, guy. You're a massive slug thing, guy. <sighs> To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.